sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. Hey, there's something in this sock. Club 41, probationary member number 37, Reginald Van Winslow. This should come in handy. Alphabet sale! Here you go. Very good, Captain Van Winslow. Here's your blindfold. Blindfold? Come now, sir. You know the rules. All probationary Club 41 members must wear blindfolds inside the club. Right. How silly of you. Very good, sir. Find the step. I've heard you make a mean gragatini. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Ow. Get him. Ow. No. No for his hand. Get up the hand up, you cracker croaker. I. What a fight. That was spectacular, Driftwood. Best pirate brew ho I've seen in months. I don't know what got into me. It was like my hand was possessed or something. Possessed, you say? Hmm. Sounds like there may be a follow-up story there. Keep feeding me these Barfo pirate stories, Threefwood. I'll be handing over the secrets of Deep Cut before you know it. your swords with an olive in my gragatini. I hate those things. Between the cool black tights and the dangerously pointy accessory, Pajama Pants Pierre is starting to look halfway collectible. Nothing like a quick paint job and a dangerously pointy accessory to turn a sad unwanted doll into an exciting ninja assassin. waits stealthily for famed out-of-shape pirate hunter Joaquin Doro to find him. Hello again. Stop doing that! Great news, Doro. I think your map isn't a rip-off after all. It isn't? But... I never found anything with it. You must have been reading it wrong. Here, follow me. And X marks the spot. See? I told you I could find it. Whew. Huh? I better start digging. I hope it's not as deep as the other ones. Ninja, Dave, with Chilicarate Katana! <laughs> Dark Ninja Dave, Dark Ninja Dave! Finally, the full set of porcelain power pirates is mine! All mine! Ow! I got dirt in my eye. My ears deceive me, or did that portly pirate just dig up a buried treasure? He sure did, with a little help from Guybrush Threefoot, Mighty Pirate. That's fantastic! 
We haven't had a good buried treasure story in weeks. I'd better catch up with that wheezy primary before he has a coronary. Or worse, start talking to those boobs from the Times. Snappy pirating, Threepwood. Keep this up, and the secrets of Deep Gut will be all yours. What's the word? You sound awfully familiar. What's the word? Nipperkin. That's odd. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? That's odd. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? I know you're supposed to stop and smell the flowers, but this pot looks like someone's taken it a wee bit too literally. This Morgan LaFlay pirate hunter is half as nasty as his ads. I'd better give him a wide berth. Uh uh. I found your membership card. Keep it. In my book, possession is seven twelfths of the law. I was told there would be no man. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Be seeing ya! I look forward to it! And I never ever ever do a thing about the weather, because the weather never ever does a thing for me. Let's try that again. <laughs> yep, still pointless. The screaming narwhal may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy, but at least she's a ship. <laughs> oh, dang. Hot, 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 ow! And now the dock is smoldering. Perfect! The screaming narwhal main I'm not burning that up. I might need it. Someday. Okay, now what?
Take that! I'm sorry. What exactly was I supposed to be taking? Never mind. I think Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. And undy and the dead winds crashed you. <laughs> oh, and a bottle of grog. Okay, now what? These size 9 bombs won't fit in that size 3 sock. No, don't, please. You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that. If you want to knock me off, lad. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Clever boy. Well played, Master Threepwood. Or should I say, Captain Threepwood? Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain. Until someone else comes along and knocks you off. Sweet! I bloody well sweet it is! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. Congratulations! I just got a tip there's some kind of one piracy going on around here. Not just any wanton piracy, a genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Uh, Guybrush is one word. Wonderful! I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this. You know, Threepwood, you've got spunk. Pirate spunk. Ew. Now why don't you take a walk with me back to the keel hauler? Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, it all started back on Melee Island. And that's how I wound up here on Flotsam Island. Well, I don't know how you did it, Seapwood. Thanks to you, I've got enough sordid swashbuckling stories to keep the Flotsam Keel Hauler Gazette afloat for months. That'll show those bozos over at the Times. Yeah, that's, um, great. Now, about Deep Gun. My pleasure, Threepwood. Sit tight while I make you a copy. Copy? Tammy, give me a copy of the Deep Gun file. Pronto. Right away, Mr. Nipper King. There you go, kid. Everything you need to know to contact Deep Gun. Don't let anyone know I gave this to you, okay? Uh, my editor will put me on deep cover in the obituary beat. Catch my drift? Not really, but... Great! Now, if you'll excuse me, Ace reporter Davey Nippikin's got some headlines to grab. Finally! Now I can ask this deep gun person how to get off this island and back to Elaine. Hmm. Seems simple enough. What's the word? Deadline. Uh. 
Welcome, Guybrush. The Voodoo Lady. Boy, am I glad to see you. I've got so many questions. There'll be time enough for questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? The Cursed Cutlass of Kaflu. Now that Lichuk has been destroyed, the Cutlass must be ritually dismantled in a soul-chilling voodoo ceremony to ensure that his evil never reawakens. Yeah, about that. I tried to destroy Lechuk with the Cutlass, but I had to make some last-second substitutions and there were some complications. What manner of complications? Well, the Cutlass didn't so much annihilate LeChuck as it turned him human. What? I couldn't believe it either. Personally, I think it's a trick. The human LeChuck. This is troubling. Can you help me? I'll do as much as the fates allow, but I fear that you will not like what I have to say. Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Hmm. The view is hazy. Ask again later. Later? But she could be in danger. Or dead. Or worse. I only know what the spirits reveal, Guybrush Treepwood. Then what in the name of Satan's comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? What was that? That was the Pox of Lechak. Uh, who, who, the what now? The Pox of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechuk into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was! Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? Yes. Some of Lechuk's evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No, but I know where you can find one. I feel a piratey quest coming on. To eliminate the pox of Lechuk, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. The big sponge? La Esponja Grande is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. It is a legendary sea sponge with incredible voodoo exfoliating abilities capable of absorbing limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine, Coronado de Cava, spent many years searching for it. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take this locket to him, and tell him I vouch for your character. I'll get right on it after I find Elaine. That would be unwise, Guybrush. The pox of Lechuk must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? I've got a ship, but it won't do me any good with these crazy winds. I'm afraid the winds of Flotsam are controlled by forces beyond my control, Guybrush. Perhaps someone in town can help you. If you can't tell me about Elaine, can you at least tell me where LeChuck is? Without a mark of the voodoo on him, LeChuck's whereabouts are a mystery to me. Do you have anything to stave off the pox of LeChuck? This hand is really starting to annoy me. The only way to safely deal with the pox is La Esponja Grande. What else can you tell me about the pox of LeChuck? It's a creeping cloud of unstoppable evil, spreading LeChuck's accumulated vileness like a disease across the seas. Ugh. Even now, I can sense the pox wending its way to this very island. Assuming that I do go looking for La Esponja Grande after I get off this island, what else can you tell me about it? It's a giant magical sea sponge capable of absorbing immense voodoo energies. If there's anything that can mop up all of LeChuck's evil mojo, it's the sponge. Tell me more about this locket. It was given to me by my friend, Coronado de Cava. Why do you keep putting dramatic pauses around friend? Was Coronado... Yes, he was my boyfriend. Icky. 
We met in the Jerkbait Islands many years ago. I fell in love with his treasure-hunting mind and his beautiful eyes. He fell in love with my voodoo charms and my supple... La 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 la, not listening! Like a volcano! But after several months of ocean steaming passion, our love cooled after he became obsessed with the myth of La Esponja Grande. When we parted, he gave me that locket. Sad and disquietingly graphic. You know, you've been helping me out for years, and I still don't know your name. Names have power, Guybrush Streepwood. Only a fool willingly gives it away. Does my name have power? Uh, sure, why not? Well, how'd you end up on Flotsam Island? I go where I am needed. So you're Deep Gut? Davy Nipperkin's source of off-island news? Yes. Why? The price of a voodoo lifestyle is not merely spiritual, little pirate. It also requires a substantial financial commitment. Well, this has been disturbing, but I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Treepwood. Knock, knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No! It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Arrgh. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. You fool. What? I've spent months crafting a pirate parrot of Petaluma, and you've ruined it before it was finished. Now I'll have to start all over. Sorry. What's this? I recently found this contraption in a swamp. I have yet to plumb its mysteries. That really puts the die in diorama. Can't you use all the magical gunk in these bottles to cure my hand? The parks of Lechuck can only be cured with La Esponja Grande. I'm not sure what kind of skull that is, but I hope I never run into one. What's this? That is a shrine to Noah Treblig, keeper of the crossroads. Hey, if you're done with this, can I have it? Fine. It's of no use to me now. Who's the studliest pirate in the whole wide world? Arrgh! It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Whitey Pirate. Heh! <laughs> frozen chicken gizzard, frozen newt eyes, snake venom popsicles. What's this? Ah, the spirits have guided you well. That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll left behind by the Vecalians, the former inhabitants of Flotsam Island. Ancient scroll, huh? Do you think it can tell me anything about these messed up winds? Perhaps. But first, you'll have to figure out how to break the unbreakable bottle I've sealed it in. Unbreakable bottle? Why would you do that? Some secrets are too dangerous to fall into mortal hands, Threepwood. Anything else you want to tell me about this scroll in the bottle? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named Magi. Make of that what you will. Murray? Hmm. 
guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. Hey there, Freeport! Do you mind if I get your pirate on the street opinion about the Death Cloud? Death Cloud? Pox of the Chuck! The Pox of the Chuck? Hmm. Pox of the Chuck. Eh. Two on the nose, not a pizzazz! Death Cloud is punching. More in your face, more. Ooh, I'm gonna die! Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya! Just bet that Hemlock's map holds the secret to getting off this island and back to Elaine. But how will I get it out of that unbreakable bottle? Free foul! What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that'd be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Unbreakable? Ah! There isn't a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. Impressive. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, show you how it's done. This little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. Whoa! So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable bottles are, in fact, opened by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Once I get off this stupid island and find Elaine, I guess I'm gonna have to track down this Decava guy so I can find La Esponja Grande. That contraption just screams mad scientist. Or at the very least, extremely miffed scientist. Welcome aboard, sir! And Winslow? What are you doing here? If it's all right with you, Captain, I'd like to stay aboard as your first mate. I don't know. I really don't... Jolly good, sir. You won't regret it, mark my words. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe some of my stitches have popped. I'll meet you here if the winds ever change.